Okay, I'm just going to talk about the condition of this 1930s um, Cottonware coffee set. The set consists of uh, six cups and saucers, a creamer, a sugar bowl and uh, a glorious coffee pot uh, in a very light green with extensive gold gilding. So I'm going to talk about each of the pieces in turn just to help uh, potential buyers assess the condition uh, of the piece. So turning to the coffee cups, what we can see as we move through each of these cups is that they uh, have crazing to the glaze of the saucers, which varies a little bit from piece to piece. They have extensive and extremely attractive gold throughout, which is in excellent condition. So on one of the saucers, we can also, sorry, we can see that this is also in excellent condition. The crazing levels vary depending upon the cup or the saucer. On this particular saucer we have a very slight mark which I'm almost tempted to say came from somebody handling this with a bit of ballpoint pen on their fingers. It's quite slight as hopefully you can see in this video. The third cup, we can see that the condition is basically the same. That This one has very light crazing. I'll just show you the Coltonware mark, which dates it to uh, plus 1925 and before around the 1930s, before the marks changed, as described in the description. We can also see the mark to the base. So we're on to the fourth cup now. Again we can see that the interior is in excellent condition. There's not very anything really wrong with this. I'm just checking the crazing and not seeing very much on this particular one. Same seems to be true in this case of the saucer. The gilding is basically in excellent condition. There's a little bit of dust inside the fifth one, but the condition remains the same. There's crazing to the cup. A very slight mark just where my thumb is. Also on this one, and I suspect these are handling marks from somebody that will come off. Uh, it's a very slight mark just about where my finger is. So that's, let's just take a look at the final cup again. Absolutely fantastic. In this case I'm not seeing uh, there's a little bit of crazing that you may or may not be able to see depending on the how the zoom is working. You can see maybe a little bit there on the base, which is normally where it can be seen, with the mark 1582 impressed in the base. So I'll just create a little bit. Oops. Okay, I'm now going to talk about the three larger uh, pieces and just check through the condition on those. Starting with the creamer. Again, we can see that the gold is in intact. There's been a slight dulling uh, to the colour of the gold compared with the tea, with the coffee cups. Handles in excellent, excellent condition with no signs of repair. There is a, a glazing mark around about, stretching around where my thumb is. Otherwise, it's looking great. Again, the Coltonware mark to the base. Just um, moving on to the sugar bowl. We can see there is some uh, quite attractive uh, uh, coloration to 
the gold up the top where the lid is her handles are perfectly intact there is again uh, as we would expect for a piece of this age uh, some uh, crazing to the glaze this is uh, basically excellent and of course the same impress series number on the base just to uh, talk you through the lid the sugar pot I'm not just in this light seeing any crazing at all ah it's a little bit of crazing becoming evident just on this side no chips or cracks moving on to the coffee pot now the most significant issue I've seen with the coffee pot is as described in the description it's down towards the base and hopefully you will see it just here where my I'm removing my finger from it so you can see it there's a small white spot of discoloration I'm wondering if that could have been caused by heat at some point um, it's about roughly the size of the knob of a little finger we can see the the fine Art Deco lines of the coffee pot there. There is uh, quite extensive crazing uh, to this piece which I'm hoping is showing through. Just turn it over we can see that there's no damage at all to the coffee pot. It's in fab condition. We have little bits of this uh, discoloration with age on the gold presumably from handling uh, on the handle which is also in brilliant position no chips or cracks to the rim and on the base if I just gently turn this upside down we see the original sticker and the Carlton wear mark with 1582 for the remainder of the set turning to the lid we also have uh, quite extensive crazing to the lid as with the coffee pot. There's a very slight mark there which uh, just pointed to that with my finger which may in fact rub off. I'm not quite sure but it's a very slight mark. There's um, no cracks or chips anywhere so in conclusion I think that this, taking into account its age, is an absolutely brilliant Carlton Ware coffee set. Thank you for viewing.